Hi, Paul. Hey, Matt. Hey, Spiros. Hi, Chris. Welcome to Building Up To It, episode 47. It's a Lego podcast, and we're joined tonight by one Spiros. You've seen him before in some episode. I don't know what number that was. Maybe you've heard him before. Check us out on audio format for uh, all the confusing goodness. For all the words about pictures. <laughs> Sometimes we even give you a thousand words on each picture. <coughs> <laughs> Not often though. One minute news. We gotta we gotta really figure out what one minute news is and how we can bring it to the masses. We don't owe them anything. <laughs> we owe them we owe them poly bags. Yes, I owe a couple of poly bags. Paul, your uh, your frame's a little small. Do you have your lower third turned on? I was I was, it looked like it was gonna happen and then uh it was and not happening, screen, man. Then, was my screen flickering when I no, but I just noticed that Paul's framed real small. Oh, but uh, while I spoke, I was flashing my toolbox. So I was like, click it, click it, click it. I, uh, <laughs> one Brian B. from Delaware did mention oh. on um, a recent show that uh, uh, Matt here is jealous of Jisk's lower third. <laughs> uh, I'm going to hook up this computer tower True. right here, which is running Windows XP. I guarantee you I'll be rocking my lower third next week. <laughs> When I give you a full review of Galador. Is that the one you're doing first? I have probably it looks like it's the worst. So way. topical. The uh the interdimensional causeway beckons oh, you. Nick Bluetooth so. is me. I, <laughs> Nick. I I I I hundred percent at Lego City Undercover today. How many years before Bluetooth technology was he named Nick Bluetooth? Doesn't matter. Because I know that Bluetooth <laughs> is named after some old you know, Mayan or Incan thing, I think. No, sure. it's named after a city in, like, Sweden. <laughs> no, I uh, think it's... You might have to go to the Google on this. I it's, think it's it, definitely think... named after a Mayan forest spirit. <laughs> okay, so, uh, Paul, what'd you, what'd you do? What'd you, what'd you do? What'd you get? Um, all I did, uh, Lego-wise, is share this screen, and... Mm. Um, I completed my uh, Unikitty blind bags, and um, next we're we're going to be going to the Unikitty boxes, like the the ones that came that come in sets. That'll be next to complete those. I still have not decided if I want to complete Puppycorn ones. Do uh, not Puppycorn's bullshit. Puppycorn <laughs> is kind of bullshit. I I will agree with you there, but the it's the completion. They're just like that's Unikitty like, was a great idea. What if we did it twice? What if we made them have balls for tails? Yeah, that's a what. What, what if the the uh, what uh, super is it Ultra Caddy? What is the one in the new movie? What if Ultra Caddy has nothing to do with the TV show at all? Is Say Ultra Caddy a new? Is that a new character? It's what they're. It's the uh, could have been a typo, but wasn't name for Unikitty in the Lego Movie too. Oh, the like is, is it the one where when it's real big, it's uh, yeah, ultra where, catty. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that set when it comes out. But yes, it, it, I'm sure it'll be, have nothing to do with the movie or with the the show. Excuse me, I'm sure it'll have nothing to do with the show. Um, but I just like Unikitties in general. Um, I have no affinity towards puppy corn, so in theory, I should not collect any of those at all. But the completionist in me says maybe I should do that just so I can complete out the the CMF series. And then that'll make me want to get all the puppy corn as well, which I, that's I'm still that's why I'm still torn there. You'll never get Mr. Gold, Paul. Give it up. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> I'm still missing Mr. Gold, and I'm missing two Unikitties now. The both of the SDCC Unikitties I don't have. Um, well, I'll tell you uh, this. Well, we, have a, not seeing that. we have a news update here. Uh, Bluetooth was named after the 10th century king Har Harald. Harald, no, not with an O, but with another A. Harald Bluetooth. King of Denmark and Norway. You believe that? Denmark and Norway? They've got <laughs> water in between them. How are you going to be king of both? You stand via in the Bluetooth. fucking river and yell. You do it oh, via Bluetooth. That's how. You Danish. No, no taxation <laughs> without representation. Uh, also known <laughs> as Harold Bluetooth Gormson. Uh, shout out to Gort. Uh, or <laughs> Harold the First of Denmark. Um, <laughs> shout out to Gort for having a last name starting with a G. So and fuck all the parents who say we don't teach kids anything, right? Gort's his nickname. It's not even related to his real name. 
It's not if his last you name. want to win no, a free poly name. bag, oh, I thought it was his last name this whole time. <laughs> well, you if know, you want to win a free to. poly bag, uh, just name your favorite Danish king in the comments, and we will pick one winner to get a, a Nick court Bluetooth poly bag. Poly bag. Uh, the only correct answer is Ole Kirk Christiansen. <laughs> <laughs> um. One time, uh, Gort was PayPaling me for something he bought, and uh, I was like, "Who is this person <laughs> that um, just sent me money?" Because none of these names are any of the names I associate with Gort. Um, but sure enough, that was Gort. And then he says, "It's it's like a college nickname or something." Uh, I mean, there's Cromdor as well, which sounds like something that um, uh, Gary A from now New York. Uh, it's pronounced still, uh, Newark. Would, would have had a toy for. <laughs> it sounds like it's <laughs> in in the eighties. Or uh, something that JD is collecting at the Mythic Legions. <laughs> Cromdor is the newest. Cromdor! Mythic Legions. <laughs> uh, I can't wait for Gord to listen to this. Uh, <laughs> Spiros will be back shortly, but what about you, Matt? Oh, I got a book. I got the uh, Lego. Superheroes DC Visual Dictionary. Of course, you should know I only bought it for the Yellow Lantern Batman figure, uh, which is dope. I have not looked at the book yet, but maybe I'll leaf through it and give a mini review. I've never read one of those. I'm sure it's very silly information. I'm going to um, pick up that book too, just because I want that figure as well. The figure's, the figure's cool, but it's pretty much just Sinestro's body with black hands. Um, the first Sinestro had the, the magenta hands, right, to match the face? Oh, maybe it did, but this one's got black hands to match the black. Oh, um, he, oh, <laughs> uh, I also 100%ed Lego City Undercover. Um, Hundo peed it. Uh, you unlock the ability to be a giant minifigure, which is completely impractical and pretty much destroys the gameplay, but is quite novel. It is pretty awesome. And, and you can toggle it on and off. Uh, I also discovered that when you unlock all the train stations, uh, the city metro liner becomes the Emerald Knight, which is another Lego set, obviously. Uh, so all you classic train heads would enjoy that moment. Um, Hundred percenting the game was a little anticlimactic because I did everything in the game and I was only at like ninety six percent, and then I remembered that there was a console in the police station where you just buy gold bricks and you buy the last sixteen gold bricks at a Do you computer. You buy them out of the evidence locker, like <laughs> pretty much. I mean, it's a computer and the gold bricks get, you know, uh, compoundedly more expensive, exponentially more expensive, and. Uh, that's it. I bought a hundred percent of the game. <laughs> is there an the actual game. like um, a reason to, to be buying those gold bricks? Like, would is it something that you would have used later? No. <laughs> no. Nice. It literally is. You gotta buy these. Yeah. You gotta support your local police station and buy yeah. their excess gold. <laughs> I guess that's it, right? So that's that. I did that. Was and the game I everything you wanted it to be and more? Yeah, it was pretty much what I expected. Like I said, <laughs> you know, watch episode forty-six if you want to know what the game was like. The the task, the tedious task of hundred percenting it was exactly what I expected it to be. I just grinded through it for the sake of it to see giant minifigures. I guess the fun thing is, is you can see a lot of your favorite CMFs in very large format on a screen. In, and they, a lot of the figures, when you sit idle, will do something thematically linked to what the minifigure is. So like the disco guy will disco dance? Like Dracula has like a bat, and it makes a bird sound and flaps around, and then it lands in his hand, and then he'll also lay on the ground and just slowly come up like... <laughs> which is pretty funny and the mime you know walks around does stuff the hazmat guy will take off his helmet and then like start gasping for air and <laughs> put his helmet back on and he also has a, a little hose head he pulls out hose gun which i've never yeah. seen as a lego piece well it was in the series for hazmat suit guy and they use i, I feel like they've used it since then maybe once but it's it's the so like the pressure sprayer. Yeah, it's like a pressure uh, sprayer. A loop, okay. a loop hose that plugs into the back of the of the helmet. 
I have it. I guess I just forgot he had that. But the fisherman, there's a fisherman skin, and he pulls a, a little fish out of his pocket that is not a Lego fish at all. But, like, anyways, I should take a picture. Anyways, there's a weird fish. Heresy. <laughs> and, uh, into a sticker. I also realized that as the police, as the firemen, you also have to, like, find, like, 20 stray cats in the city. <laughs> you coax them down with a fish and they jump and you catch them and then you put them in a fireman hat and then you put the fireman hat up your butt <laughs> it like literally goes up his ass <laughs> so that's fun <laughs> it is pretty fun <laughs> <laughs> and when you complete it she goes wow Chase you stuffed 20 cats up your ass you're amazing <laughs> The whole Trojan horse technique. Well done. <laughs> um, what did How I did get? You, Chris, anything? Uh, I had the one-year anniversary of Warminster Brick Shop on Sunday. That was pretty fun. It was the second best day in sales ever, uh, only topped by a completely random April 7th. <laughs> I don't know what that day was. But that was a good day, whatever day that was. <laughs> I don't even know yeah. if it was a weekend. Uh, well, we had food and games, and everyone rolled through, and it was real busy. And then I've made like three entire sales on Monday and Tuesday. <laughs> so <laughs> weekdays, yes. Yeah. So I've been uploading a lot of parts and nice. um, getting some other stuff done at the store that doesn't involve Warmister Brick Shop. Um. I don't think there were, there might have been one trade in all weekend. It was like seven pounds of bulk. Not then exciting. Not exciting. But I, I was talking to somebody today about how the uh, the bulk trade ins I'm getting are from from kids generally who are falling out of Lego and you know they're young teenagers now and any unless they had hand me down Lego the only Lego they have. Is from the last 10 years. And uh, so you're not getting any 80s or 90s stuff in the bulk because it just, it was out before they were, people who are now trading in Lego were receiving Lego. Right. Uh, but while some might see that as a bad thing because you're not getting any cool vintage stuff, it's kind of also a good thing because in the last 10 years, we've had some of the most awesome and valuable star wars and superhero minifigures so any bulk lot that gets traded in now is gonna be stocked with some really good figs while the castle and space and pirates and town figs of the 90s and 80s are not really going to be worth more than a couple bucks each so uh, the uh the figures if they are in the lot at all are going to be more valuable than ones from back then so there's a good way to look at it yeah, I, did, I didn't ever really think about that before today. So, uh, Spiros, you're back? Yeah. Did you get anything sorry. this week? Uh, I did not get anything myself, but uh, it was my son's sixth birthday. Um, so, by proxy, uh, I got the um, Ninjago Ice Tank and Quake Mech. Nice. Um, so it's funny because the box says nine to fourteen years old, and my whole family looks at me like, "Is this for your son or is this for you?" And I'm like, "Well, I'm clearly outside the age, you know, range." So you know, <laughs> you're farther. You're farther outside the age range than he is. That's right. You know, I figure uh, if I can't, you know, advance him academically, then I will <laughs> uh, put him on the fast track uh, for his fine motor skills. <laughs> But uh, we got through, what, one and a half bags of the uh, ice tank uh, over the weekend. So this mm -hmm. Woo! is what <laughs> uh, one and a half bags looks like. <laughs> Who's, so, uh, whose choice was it to, to build that one first? Was that your choice or his choice? Uh, I, I let him choose, definitely. Nice. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to be like, no, son, let's build this one. The and clearly the cooler Quake mech. I, I, the Quake mech is, yeah, clearly cooler, but the angles that the ice tank pulls off are pretty interesting. 
Yeah, it's uh I was I was pretty impressed uh that you have to build the treads on it. Uh they're all plastic. Uh so I was expecting like giant rubber treads that you had to stretch over the Lego blocks, but it's those uh, little uh, plastic links. Uh it's actually like huge plastic links. Uh nice. So I mean I'm I'm sitting here and I'm staring at it and I want to like just rip open all the bags and build it and then <laughs> just deconstruct it back down to where it is right now and be like, all right, let's let's get this done, son. Like <laughs> I've heard so many stories from parents about how they have to uh like they, they they they're building with their kid and they're following the directions, but something goes wrong, and then the kid has to go to bed, and then the parents are up all night trying to like disassembling and reassembling it, and trying to figure out where they went wrong so they can continue without interruption the next day. And I'm just like, one, be better, and two, <laughs> pay attention. Um, two, uh. <laughs> You're so devoted. You're so committed to that. Like all night. How many hours no, like, can you sink into correcting that before you're like, you know what? Whatever. It's it might. Fine. It might it's, still turn it, out fine. It's funny because I mean that will happen with me and uh, my eight year old daughter. Because um, she tends to just look at the pictures and she'll like skip step, you know, seventy eight. And then there's one piece missing and then she goes to bed and I can usually backtrack and find it and like get it done. But I don't understand how parents spend a whole night trying to fix a problem. <laughs> you know? Where would we be without the part call outs on every step? And it's, it's funny because that's basically my job as the parent when, when I'm building with my kids. I'm like the picker. Oh, that's the like, worst part of it. <laughs> no, I'm, I mean, like, it's good because, I mean, you know, I'm like, all right, two grays, one two by four black plate. You know, I'm like, there you go, son. Make it look like the picture. So that's a good way to build with kids. I would yeah, imagine I'm, that I'll be I'm doing like that the, someday. <laughs> yeah, because, I mean, like, if you're doing half the building, then the kid's just going to, you know, piggyback off your work like a good for nothing. So. <laughs> <laughs> So this way it makes them at least like engage their brain in my opinion. <laughs> you got to contribute to this build. Yeah, like seriously, <laughs> like put in the work, son. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so but, uh, uh, we have yep. um anything else did you get? Uh no, just been uh selling a lot of stuff from some of the bulk lots that I've been buying. Uh luckily a lot of them have been coming with the instruction books, so uh, rather than part out the lots, I've been building them and selling them as sets just to kind of move them quicker. Yeah, braver man than I, trying to put sets back together out of a bulk lot. <laughs> yeah, I've uh, I've a, a hobby, not a business. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a reason that you you're building them as opposed to just kind of putting all the the pieces in a bag? Let's just, say uh, I don't kind of. Just borderline, curious. borderline OCD. Yeah, you know, I'm just I'm like, building it more fun way of inventory. Yeah, I, I, than I actually totally inventorying agree. it. I totally agree. <laughs> By the way, I understand that, but uh, like I didn't know if there's been some some research found that uh, that when it comes to le to buying Lego sets, if they're built, then people feel more secure about them all being there as opposed to being told that all the the pieces are there. Well, none of that matters when you're shipping it, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, we have a pretty good discussion tonight. I don't know how long it's going to go for, but there's four of us, so we can all weigh in on the opinions. So a while back, we shared a, uh, a shout-out, a spotlight for the Lego Dark Knight, who, um, in my head, I just keep calling Lego the Dark Knight. Lego the Dark Knight. I'm sure I said Lego the Dark Knight, and maybe even in the description credited them as that now maybe they'd change their name they'd switch those two words around in uh, the last day because i'm having a hard time saying the lego dark knight anyway we shared the uh this this person henry henry pinto he's in um australia i believe uh four months ago he started a project building a minifig scale gundam so you can see this post from may 17th it's, uh, it's a head for a Gundam. 
and uh, he has been working steady since then until yesterday, uh, September 17th, so pretty much four months to the day. And he changed the color of it a few times. He had a lot of pictures of the trial and error with um, the joints. Ch changed it to blue, which is Added the red color. <laughs> <laughs> Subtracted a Hulk. Um, <laughs> he's been having a lot of fun doing this. He built some kits, too. I have I have this one. It's a really good one. Um, Robot. He, he finished. It's he a finished. Gundam. It's a Gundam. This is one that most definitely has beam weaponry. So this is a picture. <laughs> this is um from two days ago. He posted the finished. You can model. see the, the minifigure for scale at the bottom there. The minifigure down here because this thing is minifigure scale. And wow. one of his other pictures was um the like the little chair for the cockpit, which is this, which is his sig fig. Oh, I thought that was Bruce Banner. <laughs> That's racist. <laughs> what? We can't turn into the Hulk. He needs a Gundam. Well, there, there was also a Hulk. that can't be Bruce Banner because you also saw the Hulk. <laughs> uh, unless I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure yeah, there's some Marvel Chris. comic. It's been months. I'm sure there's some Marvel comic timeline where the Bruce Banner isn't the Hulk and the Hulk is somebody else, and who fucking cares? And they're all robots. And they're all robots, <laughs> and the Punisher turns into Venom. Whatever. So, um, this thing is awesome. It's amazing. I love it. I would buy instructions for this at pretty much any price and just start amassing the pieces immediately. I don't know that I'd go out and buy all the pieces, but I'd just start setting them aside uh, and then build yeah. this. Because this, this, is, this is like my two favorite things at once. And it looks really, really, really well done. Now, yeah. I'm not a big fan of the Grandpa Gundam, which is what this is, the RX-78-2. It's the Gundam you think of when you think of Gundam is this Gundam. Yeah. I'm not a main character kind of guy, so this isn't my Gundam. But it's... Uh, <laughs> hashtag not my Gundam. Hashtag not my Gundam, but it's very, very iconic. Where's the Jesta? Yeah, just give me like something asymmetrical and beefy and looking ready to rumble. He did say he's going to make a uh, beam rifle and a shield for it eventually. Uh, nice. He has it up here on what he called a $35 bike stand from yeah. Aldi. <laughs> Who knew that Aldi sold things that weren't food? Not me. I did. I did. Last time <laughs> I was on Aldi, What's they had Aldi? moldy produce and like dented Cheez-Its. And I was it's, like, this is a, a great store. It's a different game now. Well, apparently they bought bottom dollar food and then they said, you know what? We don't need to be shitty food stores Ooh, anymore. We can be regular bad. food stores. That is correct. I go to, I shop at Aldi three times a week. I, uh, I used to shop at bottom dollar food. And then uh, one day it was gone. But look at the oh. articulation on this, on that kit. Like it's, a, so, it's amazing. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's, he's had a Jack lot. Jack is back there. He's, um. Jack is back there. <laughs> <laughs> That's beam weaponry right there. You watch your tongue. Uh, I don't know. So I'm he, sure. there's a hell of a lot of technic in every single joint here. Many times with large uh, technic turntables. So many worm gears. So many other gears. All the gears. I don't know technic at all, and I don't like it either. But <laughs> he had a lot of trial and error videos, which he has had to take down for the reason we're going to get into. But this thing holds its own weight. It's 10,000 pieces and 10 kilograms, 90 centimeters tall. Those are all things that Matt can explain to us in <laughs> real words. Mr. Imperial. I mean, I'm guessing it's nine tenths of a meter and a meter stick is a pretty, it's, it's very close to a yard stick. And we know what yards are. They're like three feet. Your <laughs> shit. Three's, uh, three's a number. Three's that, a number. Oh, well, I that logic to... works. <laughs> How much does that weigh? What's weight? It's a number I made up. Well, let's compare it to my gallbladder. And then... <laughs> <laughs> and just base everything off that. I thought we were basing it off of stones. <laughs> in, in the, in the in Western the, world. In the UK? Yeah. Uh, anyway, this thing's fantastic. And not only a day after he posted this... Nothing we get, happened. We get 
pictures, mock-ups oh. of boxes from our two favorite, or maybe our one favorite and whatever this is. And that's, 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 that's their other name, their new name. That's their fully Chinese weapon. This not is the, the uh, not the American Chinese weapon. This is the oh, X Transbots yeah. uh, version of KFC. It's it's this, the this, division. No, this is the um. Oh shit! What's that? What's the the new line? The perfect fusion. This is the perfect fusion. <laughs> <line>. <laughs> um, anyway, not only uh, do we have two different boxes here, but so Lepin as the mechanic warrior. That is the photo he took, and along with one of the. Uh, Early test shots like here. A prototype head. Yeah. One of the first head molds he made. Which do we have? Is that one of them? Like you'll notice that everything is at the same exact angle because those are just his photos. There it is. Oh, is it this one? Uh, bottom left, I think. Oh, that could be it. I mean, it might have been just a, like the third image in one of them. That was the only image for that one. But it's it's all just his pictures. So yeah, man, the, this is those those Chinese companies work fast for something. So that now here's the thing. Of, here's the thing. We don't know this is a fi- like, we don't know this is officially put out by Lepin. Yeah, and uh, I actually would imagine that it's not. To be honest, being that they just didn't they just lose the lawsuit to Lego. Like if they, that's they, what I'm hearing is that the guy who owns Lepin is, is sentenced to a Chinese jail, which I'm sure is just death, and. Yeah. <laughs> and uh and he's also <laughs> Paul he's losing the hand at least <laughs> he, he's making iphones now <laughs> <laughs> that's the dream uh, job what are you talking about not, not only is lego fighting against Lepin and seemingly succeeding though then again like how much can you succeed against uh counterfeiters but uh bandai is even more ruthless against uh, counterfeits and KOs than Lego is. It must be easier since they're you know from there and they can <laughs> deal with them. And that's that's probably true. I and believe- as uh, although yeah, uh, you don't you don't see Takara, I think that was a point made on one of the shows is that you don't see Takara really taking down any KOs, but Bandai is really quick to take them down. Well, I think Bandai just cares, and Takara doesn't. Well, it's, I think it's also that I think, uh, I think the car is making the chaos. They're just financing <laughs> their ventures through God. alternative means. <laughs> I went to the Lepin uh, Instagram, if if it is indeed their real name. It's essentially <laughs> them just like, oh, you're too cheap to buy this. Here's a KO. <laughs> no, but th- this image isn't there. Like neither of these boxes are a post from them, so I'm not sure where these posts originally came from. But this might just be. A troll whipping up a uh, box art and saying like Lepin lives. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't know anything about this one. It's the uh Paul, what's that say? <laughs> <Ask Jessica. laughs> what you gotta do is start doing this from like posts of kids' builds off like booster bricks, like my kid made this, and it's like <laughs> that kid's fucking Gundam mod. Oh, so, you know you know what this might be? This might actually be a um it looks like it's not looks, Bandai, but a, a, like a model kit box. Yeah, it looks, it looks like a like a snap kit or or one. Like, is it spoo yeah, kit? Yeah. Or whatever. Like they like Target has them and stuff. It, it, the the box like design and then the color scheme looks like oh, one of those spoo kits. Spoo kits. Every time I've always saw that, I was like, "What the fuck's a spruck it?" <laughs> <laughs> I never looked at it and go, "Oh, because they're on sprues." I get it. I was just oh, like, "That's God. that's not a good name. What is it?" <laughs> Spacely Spruckets. <laughs> Go spruck yourself. Spruckets. I mean, sometimes you just gotta spruck it, you know? <laughs> um, I get it now, but this this looks like it's just a, a model kit that they put that image on, which is very easy. Just put the image wherever you want. It is the same image that they've used, it looks like, just mirrored, <laughs> which is... Um, so, so I'm looking at all the comments on uh, his uh, post, because he reposted um, that picture. And uh, let's see, is there? Yeah, you know it's what? It's just it's, a bunch of his photos, just cropped. That's all it that's, is. That's the thing. It's like they have not built this thing yet. They haven't. No, but because that's it, his fucking photos. So would they out use of, his out of the photos? fear? He he 
took down some of his uh, videos showing the inner workings and um, said he's going to put them back up at some point. But uh, one of the common things in, in the comments here is that everyone's like, you should have watermarked it. Um, you know, if they're going to Photoshop it this hard, can't well, you Photoshop look, out the watermark? Yeah, I mean, like, that's look, what that, the eye blotter tool is for. That is that. Yeah, the clone stamp. This is a good Photoshop job as is from an Instagram photo, unless he posted them on Flickr. I don't know. Uh, Flickr's that high res. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> straight up, like, it's decent Photoshop to begin with. So, I mean. They would just get rid of the watermark. Well, but but even even that notwithstanding, like if if the if the argument is, oh, you could have kept all your stuff up as long as you put a watermark on it, like the, they still would have stole it if they were exactly, stealing. That, it. That's yeah. his point. His point is that he took them down so they wouldn't see all the inner details and, and all that stuff. Not that they're using his photographs. Like it's it's that they 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 obviously have taken the design that he's put hours and hours and hours of work into four months. Yeah, that I mean, and and if you if you just scroll through even his feed now, you see just just dozens and dozens of iterations of of the, of the work in progress, not including all the other stuff that he used to have on there that was even more detailed. Yeah, he took out some of the the videos on how the joints work. He also took out um, there's a picture of him of his two sons standing next to oh that was gone. Thing. Yeah, that one's gone. I should have grabbed that one, it but it's his two sweet. sons. Two sons standing next to this thing on the bike stand, and it's about the same height as they are on this bike stand. And um, my favorite comment I saw on there was someone said, uh, which one of your three children is your favorite? <laughs> 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 that one was really good. Um, so uh, another common thing I'm seeing in the comments is that people say you should just, one person's like, you should cut a deal with Lepin and, and get a percent. And I'm like, that's, that's, that's the, no happen. one's best interest. <laughs> They've already stolen it. Hey. You just... Okay, this is assuming that they did. They, then they already have it. Like, it's assuming that this is indeed on their radar that they're going to, something that they're going to do. But, like, yeah, so, that, so that's, that's someone suggesting the, the, the Xingbao uh, route, which is, which is what a couple other famous mockers have done just to get their stuff out there. Um, but but yeah, I mean, like that. The, the, there's certainly that w- that would give him a little bit of money, but he's 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 not. I don't think he's going to get a percentage of each one that's sold. It's certainly going to be we're going to here we'll pay you this, and then we can do what we want with your design. And I and if if I were him, it would be one of those that four months of my hard work, man. That's that's for four hundred dollars that you're going to cut me for that check. That's nothing. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. And I, I want to reiterate the fact that um, we don't know that this is actually being made by Lepin. I don't want this to, you know, months from now um, to look like we're we're all hyped up on this. We all. I also don't want ETR to cover this thing. Like, look at this, Lego's making a Gundam, which none of those <laughs> words are correct. Um, <laughs> so, so please, guys, don't uh, don't cover this as news. <laughs> Well, I Not think news. I think that if anyone were to have pulled this up on ETR Game. someday, it would have been yeah, I would say probably Brink as of as of late. And we know Brink listens, or Brian B from Delaware, he listens. So I think hopefully he will be good enough to not put this up uh, on that show to get this is something. Jame some... might also pull as well. Jame hasn't been on the show in a long time. No, no, for his show for Plastic oh, Fanatics. Got it, got it. Uh, yeah, this isn't this isn't news, and we're not uh, endorsing it, and we also don't know that it's anywhere near true. So, I just yeah, I, I, mean, I don't want it to come across like we're like, look at this thing that's happening. You can pre-order it. Just send uh, three hundred dollars. <laughs> so your to... official Lepin uh, provider of the realm. <laughs> <laughs> Go to come check out LIexpress.com. LIexpress, your official weapon provider. Of the end so, of the so one person said that they should team up with Lepin and you know get some money out of the deal. Other people are all saying if you, you know, produce instructions and sell them, I'm sure a lot of your fans would buy the instructions, and um, you know then you kind of beat Lepin to it. They, I mean, maybe they'll make it still. Maybe they'll make it easier. At that point, or you just you know deny all sales to China or something like that. But um, maybe they'll make it quicker, or they'll make it at all. But 
you you probably also made more money on selling instructions than they would have cut you. And, you know, people might have bought this before they had the chance to buy the Levin. Yeah. I would buy instructions for this hands down. I would too, even though the, the, the amount of time that it would take before I actually build this would be yeah, You don't even have parts. You don't even <laughs> own any parts. You only own sets. <laughs> I what if I told sets. you that sets are made up out of parts? <laughs> what? <laughs> you, you saw how many how many parts I ended up sending you. That's about maybe, I don't know, one twentieth of the actual parts that I do have. <laughs> you you have parts, Paul? I do have parts. I just don't talk about them on the show. <laughs> I had no idea. Yeah. Paul, your your daughter would be old that enough be... to participate in building Legos. By That's the, the thing. Because, the because she is so young, it would take me literally until she is old enough to, to help me build it before I could actually build it and have my <laughs> wife be okay with having a Lego set that large sitting around the house, like on the floor. <laughs> you need a man cave, Paul. I do. It's uh, I keep spending all my money on Lego sets and and toys that I can't afford to put to build a man cave. Build it a Lego. <laughs> <It'd> be, <laughs> yeah. Then I will. I'll just. I'll just need a, a larger order from Bricks on the Dollar. Uh, you just have to build up to it. You need to get a Xenomorph <laughs> for this to sell out. Oh what? shit! That's right. Yeah, yeah. I, I'll do that soon. Yeah, sure you will. So. <laughs> What do you what do you guys think about this? The fact that this these images just came out, and uh, you know maybe somebody's trolling, maybe Levin's doing it. Um, this guy spent four months making this thing that's awesome. He makes a lot of awesome things. He shows them at conventions, and and you know this is his this is his passion. And um, somebody might make fake Lego out of it and sell it for whatever it sells for. We were trying to figure out earlier what the price tag on this might be if it was Lepin based on the part count and how they've charged for previous knockoffs they put out. Yeah, so we were we were talking uh, in our chat about that. And like there's, I think there's kind of two audiences. So so the, the two kinds of people in the world, the two kinds of people who buy Lepin sets are those that um, don't want to spend the, the current aftermarket price on on the the set that they they quote unquote can't get anymore or whatever so they don't want to spend eight hundred dollars on a on a green grocer or whatever um that, that they don't want to spend that much money that's cheap man and then there's the other there, there's that's the other people jump on that eight hundred dollars for a green grocer get it now i've got them all of them good uh the other one is the other ones are i would never spend x amount of money on a Lego set. So let's say I, w I would never even spend 150 on the modular when it came out, but at $60, I might buy it. Or then, then I, I, I might assuage my curiosity and pick Ooh. it up there. So there's there's two different uh, like there's two different types of people, and I think that a lot of the people that buy the Lepin sets that, that that buy the bootleg Lego sets in general are in that latter category where there's a barrier to entry in general, and that's what keeps them out. It's not necessarily that they have all of the modulars except for that one and don't want to spend $1,200 on it now. We'll, we'll put it at. They're, they're just the ones that didn't even want to spend 150 on the original. They're the I'll wait for the KO group. It um, went up by $400 while we were talking, man. You got to well, get that now. Well, because you said that 800 was a, was a steal, so I wanted to make it a little bit more exorbitant. But – Assuming that most of the people that that do buy Lepin sets are the ones that would never have spent the, even the 150, this is now a 10,000 plus set, even bootlegged. That thing's going to cost a ton of money relative to the others. Like yeah, the one box said 12,000 parts, which yeah, um, so that's going to price a lot of people out already. In his comments. I also yeah. I also think it would have been funny if he took the um so he knew he knows what the height was he said it was 90 centimeters what it's almost what three if, feet i know uh, uh, i'm saying what if he said it was 95 centimeters and then all the box arts said 95 and he goes <laughs> actually it's 90 centimeters <laughs> i just measured it changes. and then the box changes <laughs> they're watching <laughs> <laughs> that would be hilarious <laughs> and it would say Ten thousand pieces. Actually, it's ninety-three centimeters. <laughs> that would be the revision box that uh, that they send over. It's just like a sticker that they, that they include in the box that you can put on your box to cover up the the incorrect uh, information. <laughs> but yeah, so I think if they do produce a set like this, the the price alone would price out 
a huge chunk of people who would have been willing to buy a bootleg Lego set in the first place. Cause I don't, I, I would find it. I, I, I would imagine that I'd say 75% of the Lepin supporters in quotes are the ones that would not spend. I don't know. What would that, what, what would 12,000 knockoff bricks cost? Like, I don't know. I don't know, Paul. 500 bucks, 400 that. bucks, maybe somewhere us. on there. I, I, I only have the two that I still haven't built yet. <laughs> only have the two. Yeah. Well, the thing is, for something like that, I, I, I did go under that the, the actual, the mockers in this, in, the, in those cases. So I, I've talked about on the show how I have the Xingbao um, Xenomorph yeah. and I have the Xingbao um, Akira Bao. And those are the ones that are, that were, Designed by the Arvo brothers, and the Arvo brothers are the are the, are the relatively famous mock designers that 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 built those and submitted them to Lego that Ideas. Sold the fuck out, and then and then yeah, so they didn't get they didn't get picked up by by Lego Ideas as expected, but they sold the designs to Xingbao. and because I've been following them uh, like, throughout these years, they oh, said made, if I you want to support pit. us, if you want to if if you want to support us, here's how you can do that. If, if you like it, then you can, you can also buy the hardcover book that we've made that has the oh, instructions. But hardcover book. But this has Le- Lego is a ideas submission that pit in Buffalo Bill's basement from Silence of the Lambs. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't pick it, yeah. but I got ten thousand votes. Yeah. <laughs> or the Ru- that all I had to do? Oh, you gotta Ru- do the RuPaul's yeah. Drag Race and build stuff the like pit, that. and then go find some sort of uh, uh, message board for. For that movie, and there's a post it there. This is who would be in the pit? And that's, you get and you get ten thousand <laughs> votes overnight Mr. from all the, the fans. <laughs> um, somebody else suggested that he put it on Lego Ideas like promptly. That way, I don't know if there's some kind of clause on that site where if you post something to Ideas, it's like Lego's property technically. Well, there was mm-hmm. there's some people that all that I think it was. And the other thing, other Xing Bao says, like there was some that we had read that um, had a comment from the the actual mocker that said, no, they didn't approach me to do this one. Um, and I think he had he had posted a lot of detailed design picks on Lego Ideas, and I think that's where they actually got a lot of the kind of specking of it. That's so what th- you got to do. If you build something cool, don't ever show anyone. Yeah. Don't knock it off. <laughs> that, that's, that's basically it, especially when you – I, I feel bad particularly for that guy. I forgot his name. Um, shout out to that guy. But, like, he was really excited, and he thought the more detail he put into his Lego Ideas pitch, that there would be a better chance that it would get made. And he's right. It just got made by, by a bootleg company instead. You know it had a lot of detailed pictures of the intricacies? Peru. <laughs> Yeah. Why is so, it so, making a Purdue Peru set? <laughs> I was I was hoping one of you would would, would guess Peru, <laughs> the greatest set to never be produced. Uh, but but yeah, so um, uh, so uh, particularly for someone like that, and now in this case from the the Lego Dark Knight, like it's one of those that it was they had such a big passion project, and, and that they were sharing with everybody, and they had a lot of kind of support from the fans, and then and then. In doing so, there's a potential now that someone else is just going to swipe that thing right out from under them and, and try to make it. And uh, like it's it is unfortunate, but uh, if again if if Lepin is indeed going to try to make this, they're 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 working real quick, and uh, mm. probably have had their eyes on this set for a long time. And it is it is too bad. Like it's it, it's one thing to like I said, I I picked up those Arvo Brothers sets because. Technically, they're just the the creators said, "Go ahead and if you want to support us and, and get this design, go here and get it." And I know a hundred percent that the bricks are not Lego, so I know that the the, the quality isn't going to be as good. Like I'll, I'll design, them. build it out of garbage. <laughs> but it's it's one of those that what so so the, no. so Lego lost the, the their patent expired, right? So that's when you got all of a sudden you got the the Mega Blocks sets that started Mega. coming out and all those other building sets start coming often but again so that that's just that's just what it is other like other building sets have come out and it might be my favorite part of all the lego documentaries is when they rattle off all the other brands and every time you hear one or two you never heard before and you don't hear a few they're like oh what happened to that one they just (laughs) list off that long list of building block sets you can find in big lots 
Yeah, exactly. There's all those. There's your your Kobe or whatever the ones that make those big like military Kobe sets and, 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 and built to rule. Yeah, exactly. So built so, to rule. <laughs> so those aren't necessarily illegal. Though just those bricks, those, those building blocks aren't illegal, but they're not as good as Lego because Lego has their their design is obviously superior. Their QC is superior, but the actual building something out of an inferior brick itself is not anything that there's not really anything wrong with that as long as you know that you're getting an inferior product the things that i have issue with are the ones kind of what the, what lego won their lawsuit on against lepin is when you take a full-on lego set and then just completely 100 percent make a facsimile of it and sell it i think what i believe what it was that lego actually won the suit on is that they're using all their their designs on their boxes and their box images and all that kind of stuff 100%. So that that's what I think I believe that's what they actually won on. And so what that, a small they, victory. Uh, agreed. It, it is and and you know that Lepin has like four or five other divisions that are just going to start doing it again, but they can't make Lepin ones anymore or something like that. So it is a They'll small make victory Lu- and it's Lewin stupid. Resources ones. <laughs> that sounds like a company they would have, Lewin Resources. <laughs> Uh, yeah, if they, they probably would. I'm sure they're all honestly from the, the same the, the same basement there. And I think so. The difference in so Lego has won that lawsuit, and then and then Bandai going after the 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 Gundam KOers. Um, like theirs was, I think, actually because they were selling their actual sets as well. But they, but for some reason they they were able to go after, it and then and then millions and millions of dollars. I think is what they end up losing. Um, Dragon Momoko. Yeah, or whatever. So that that yeah, exactly. So hopefully, with the, the combination of those two <laughs> loss lawsuits, there will help this to not get made. Because in this case, it's 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 a hundred percent. Like this guy put all all the blood, sweat, and tears into it, but it just got swiped out from under him. Potentially, again, we don't know if that's actually true or if it's a troll. But but either way, if it is true, like that's. That sucks. Like uh, I, 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 I think that that is that is the, the the straight up like the dishonesty route of it. When if 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 they're passing it off as a Lego set, that's shit. And then if they're stealing someone else's without even t- asking their permission, uh, or being given their permission, <laughs> like also that that is that's also shit in my opinion. Do you guys ever feel like we are the um, what Russ would call the Takara ass munchers? For Lego, like Lego fans, no, it's discount different. anything else. Is it because I don't? I, so I, I, I several have reasons. Like Lego, <laughs> well, you know, you're the worst. But but Lego <laughs> has Lego has uh, it's a privately held company. It's been doing the same thing for a lot longer than has been Transformers. So um, comparing, they don't comparing... make shitty toys like Hasbro and Takara do sometimes. Slash, they always toys. make a good toy. Well, now. Now they do. <laughs> I mean, there's, there's been, yeah, all right, you know, Jack Stone and all that, but um, they don't. They have a better track record for good toys than Takara. So let's say, okay, comparing Lego to 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 Takara would be like saying, like, the thing is, is like third party companies aren't. KO companies are stealing masterpiece figures and producing their own. Third-party companies are making their own toys based on creative. All right, they're they're just stealing the IP. But they... so if Lapin was making like Ninjas Go building sets, oh, they are. But, well, see, I I've no problem with using their Lego molds. They weren't using Lego's molds. Then they would be like a third-party company. Okay. If, Right, so I, I I'm I'm okay with is it Levin? Maybe it's Xingbao, actually, whatever. But whichever one of those is making like the Chinatown Lewin sets. Lewin Resources. <laughs> so I'm fine with the Lewin Resources Chinatown set because it is their own design. That's it is. That's why I support it. But, but there's it, still, their own they've still no, they've built their own set out of ripped off designed pieces. Well, That's the thing is, the- it's it's not though. That that's the only difference. It's an inferior set. If it, it, they, they 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 because they don't have the tubes inside, so it is just like a hollow shell. Okay, of, but of a I mean, like the point the point we make versus the difference between all knockoff brands. It doesn't necessarily come down to the fact that there's tubes in it. That's not Lego's problem with everything. It's that everybody started making interlocking brick toys, and I mean they weren't the first to do it. 
originally even were they but no. uh they were the first to they're just the best they're just the best and it's really funny like i've been i was working on a movie and in the script they said that like oh he gives his kids lego because he's trying to be a cool dad blah 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 and the kids don't care regardless of the fact they wanted me to get the rights to get lego and i went to their website and i start reading through their copyright section and it's basically like just a long no it's it's like somebody <laughs> talking to you directly like somebody going like here's the fucking thing we <laughs> made fucking bricks and then everybody else fucking guess what the government doesn't care and it's like it's like sort of prosed very strangely uh but it's it doesn't give you any information on how to like contact anybody for like use in media it's simply just like <laughs> copyrights don't exist apparently for lego <laughs> like they're all pissed off Anyways. Well, again so so i do, back to to rust the Mustard's point like i do, i would not consider us the uh like the the Takara elitist or whatever. If it's not, if it's not Takara, it's not a masterpiece or whatever. I, I wouldn't consider this the same argument there. Um, well, I mean, I, all right. So a more fair comparison is I, I look down on Mega Bloks and connects and I do too. The but other one. The and that's like looking down on fans toys or no, it's something not. like that. It's it's not. It, see, I, I don't think it is either. Um, though I, but I, I, I have bought those, other building block products and i'm not against buying them at all but they are inferior products i love the, I love the way you i love the way your diction like slows down and your volume just dips a little bit you're like those other building blocks <laughs> those guys well, all it, right so this, this is the equivalent right here this is what i'm fucking saying quick change this is not <laughs> fans toys this is the mega blocks equivalent of transformers this is the creo equivalent <laughs> turns into a draft fucking oh, that uh, that's a knockoff of long rack super <laughs> robot like this is what we are talking about right now i want to knock off of long rack damn <laughs> oh you know what i saw the best knockoff transformers in a dollar store they were all animals and the dog was called evil clever dog <laughs> <laughs> and, it, and the whole thing was called me good oh man here it is evil clever dog cool. <laughs> oh my god the, the cow spots though Dude, i want that <laughs> Evil which, clever dog. I almost bought it. I should have fucking which, bought it. Which store specifically is that? Uh, do Dollarama had it. Oh, a we don't there. have Dollaramas here, I don't think. Oh, damn yeah. it. It's Canadian. I would totally buy that. <laughs> well, it's not fucking Canadian. It's sold in Canada. <laughs> Dude, what's, what's the fan art of. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Clever dog up there. <laughs> Uh, uh, right above oh. it. Above <laughs> Stuart Ashton versus Evil Clever. <laughs> He's got his own history. That shout day. out. Here's a little shout out to Stuart Ashton. Okay, it's just uh, That's hilarious. Uh, Stephen uh, R. Tread lightly. Stephen yeah, Art. watch out. <laughs> this is a family oh, friendly show. We just got rated R. <laughs> I'm gonna stop screen sharing. There's and... dicks. Look at all these dicks. Whack it. <laughs> But yeah, so so they are the, the the fact remains that because they don't have the same design as Lego, they're compatible with Lego, yes, but they're not Lego design. They're inferior bricks, and no one will argue. No one can argue that, and nobody will. Everyone who gets those will always say that they don't hold together as well or anything like that. Yeah, you can you can kind of you can the 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 play is is the is the same type of play, but it's not it's not as good and. That's why I, if, if somebody wants to buy Mega Bloks, just go for it. Just know that they're not as good as Lego bricks. And just know, Grandma, that when you bring it, when you give it to little Jimmy for Christmas, he's gonna go, "What the fuck is this?" <laughs> it's funny. So we've got a, a bricks and minifigure store that just opened up by us about a month or two ago. As and Dust would say, they're spreading like a bad rash. They are indeed. Yeah. But so so I'm I, I follow their Facebook page and all that, and so they have what they call kind of teacher packs basically it's it's like a quart no it's, it's like a gallon size ziploc bag that they give out to um to, to any teachers who want them for free for kind of 
learning development or whatever for for their students but they give them out for free because those are all the non-lego pieces that they get in oh like is that what they stuff. do with it yeah they, I, they give I, them to the teachers I, 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 did, <laughs> I did the same thing but mine's not branded and i give it to um garbage like, <laughs> well we used to give it to an orphanage and uh there's some school started a Lego club or something like that. They you don't really know. do hate kids, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but I mean, I yeah. I, I actually I, I have some respect for them there. Like they got all they got these things for free. They don't make any money off them, but they they they, they give them to, to people who just want to use them to develop young young kids' minds and and doing whatever. That's cool. I'm 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 alright with it again because they know that they don't want to dilute what they're selling in their store by using non Lego bricks. And because again, it's it's is factually you can you can prove it in this case. It's an inferior product that just happens to play in the same sandbox, I guess, uh, as as the Lego. So as long as you're not passing them off as Lego, I have no problem with it. Well, I don't think Leppin is passing it off as Lego usually, unless it's the, the you know the seller on eBay who's using clever wording. But I mean they. That's I think just a now, knockoff. I think now they don't. They 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 are much more strict about what they what about how they share it now. Like they, from from the early days of these kinds of things, like they they didn't used to. Like <laughs> it was they were pretty they were pretty ruthless and shady with it all. Now, like in order to, they, they 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 will still get to try to, to still try to get the hit on the Lego like search word is compatible with lego sets or whatever and then what if those get caught now they can't even say compatible with lego sets like some of them will start to like misspell lego l w g o and then some of them will either be like compatible with all all building block uh like sets or whatever so now like they, if they they have to try to get creative as uh, in order to keep that posting up wherever they are all right anybody else have any thoughts on this Lego. <laughs> I mean, there's, 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 there's no question in my head as, as one who has bought some of those other ones, some, some Mega Blocks, some Creos, some of the the Xing Bao sets. I don't have any Lepin sets per se, um, but again, I think Xing Bao and Le and Lepin are probably part of the same conglomeration. I mean, um, here's the thing. Okay, Voltron, they're they're not as good. <laughs> Voltron had way more exposure than the Dark Knight set. The KO still came out after this was it was still even announced after or what a week yeah. before and it's still pretty fucking expensive too and it's still expensive i don't think what we're looking at is a real legitimate lepin release yeah legitimate in quotes i think <laughs> it's troll i think it's troll i think yeah. it's a troll i think yeah. it's, i think, I think, it's I think dark the lego knight is safe <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna really fuck me up with that. I think I think that Lego Knight the Dark is fine. Yeah, and and, yeah. and again, I I think you're right. But I would to support him if he ever does make those instructions, which I don't think he should, to be honest, because some one person inevitably will take it and then will sell that or give it to Lepin. Hey, Lepin, guess what I got? Yeah, that I'm, I'm worried about that. Yeah, That's, we bought it too. I'd love to support. Him somehow in in this venture, um, I just think that maybe he could get enough sales before it gets sold to Lepin that it'd be worth his while more so than just letting it get stolen and not doing anything about it. I I will totally agree with that. And if there's any way to, that I can support him, I will. Again, fully understanding that I would I would buy those instructions. I think I this show to build it for at least three or four years. Doing <laughs> this show totally is, is supporting him. We've shouted them out. We've uh, I. I'd sent out an email blast uh, last night, last night, two nights ago, uh, with pictures of that. Um, before we saw, I think it was two nights ago, because before we saw that the, it might get knocked off, I was just like, hey, this thing happened. Check it out. It's awesome. Go support this person. See if you can get him to come and, and, and do a guest uh, appearance at Warminster Brickshaw. <laughs> All the way from Australia. It's that guy <laughs> with that robot. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Gundam. It's a Gundam. I show yeah, my, gun, my Gunpla like, in the back. Uh, it seems like it's a fan kind of Photoshop. Uh, just, you know, based on what Chris was saying, how it's not on Lepin's Instagram or anything like that. Um, but, I mean, 
I don't know. I'm fiercely anti KO. So, like, I think it would be shitty if it is coming true. And uh, I'm kind of in the boat with Chris where uh, if he released the instructions, I would definitely put money in his pocket rather than, you know, buying a knockoff set. And you can build it over the next five years. Yeah, exactly. Well, yeah. Okay. One leg at a time. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put my kids to work. I'm going to be like, <laughs> I'm going to be like, all right, your homework's done. we got to work on the left ankle actuator. <laughs> but you have any idea how much work it would be for him to actually produce instructions for this thing? Like, you'd uh, have to like, it, it leave his life fun. behind. That's true. He probably, because I'm sure he probably didn't, he didn't document any of it. I would imagine. No, he, <laughs> no, he actually, he says in the comments, like, he doesn't even remember how he did some of it. Yeah. <laughs> it just happened. He free built. He's like, I blacked out, and I woke up, and there it was done. <laughs> and there was Gunpla in front of me. <laughs> like Gunpla. All right, so you guys want to blitz through some XO Force real quick? Sure. Uh, how long have we been going so far? Doesn't matter. Let's do it. We're fucking doing it. We're doing it. XO but- Force is a theme from 2006 through 2008. It had three waves. Yeah, to keep with three, the, the mech, sorry, the, the mech three, theme that we got going today. Three years, I should say. Um, like elves. You know, we, like, we, never uh, talk, we never talk about robots. Let's talk about robots. <laughs> oh, that's right. I forgot. We haven't talked about robots in a while. Uh, we're going to go through these. There's 38 sets here, and they had a lot of re-releases oh, in different countries. And all that's that, a polybag. <laughs> Exo suit robot polybag. So you had the good guys, which are all... Uh, there's a lot of lore, and there were comics for this, too. So if you want to check out more of that, check it out. We're just looking at the sets. The good guys were all these uh, big-haired, Dragon Ball Z-looking anime hero guys. <laughs> what and were they the called? bad guys were robots. Shout out to Dust. Oh, that's not fair. That promotes robot hate. <laughs> the robots are very evil, man. Oh, so this is the uh, exosuit this robot poly bag, which explains exactly what it is. Also, these these bags are terrible. It's a figure with like bricks stuck to it and guns stuck to it. It's like that's not an exosuit. That's just <laughs> those are uh, uh, Hikaru's business legs. training oh, glider. Oh shit! Look at that. That looks like a leopard brick figure. With that hair, with the hair, the face the is. Hair. You can tell by the, the face, though. That's that's where the difference is. <laughs> they have actually uh, face. Oh. I need all this anime hair. It's probably cheap. So this one, says, this you're one, the guy. This one's really expensive because people use it as heads of lettuce. No. <laughs> so the uh, the um medium no the light light green medium green. I medium straight green. up okay. Lego Ninja Go Lego City Doc Ninja Go. City docks. I straight up hate that they use hair as like a hanging basket plant. <laughs> but sorry, sorry, you feel that, that way. That hair on the Statue of Liberty is a gold torch. I like. It's good fire. It's a shitty plant. <laughs> uh, there's Stealth Hunter. I like how he's stealth, stealth, but he's all white. Contain this guy Hikaru. Stealth well, maybe it's a snowy planet, you know. So these these really relied on the um the ratcheted uh two by two brick uh, connector joints that are still being used in a lot of stuff today. But this was almost entirely made out of those. <laughs> um, and the robots were not great. Here is Grand Titan. He's grand. <laughs> it's bisque. And they also most of these sets bisque. Most of these sets had a uh, fiber Please. optic. Fiber optic gimmick where there was a uh, brick in here that when you as a battery and when you squeeze it, it would shoot light through the tube to whatever the tube was leading to. to. Power the guns. In this case, the tube led to a bunch of trans pieces, which which lit up. Pew, so you pew. hit a thing back here, and then the thing over here lit up. But you'll see that tube running through a lot of them, like this one. Oh, Thunder I like Fury. Okay, the spiritual uh, ancestor of Ninjago. Fan boat, <laughs> ten thousand fire vulture. Are those are those bionicle like pieces? Are they, his claws there? Is that what those? Yeah, are there's there's a bunch of. Okay, bionicle so pieces these are the bad guys because you can see the little robots. Now yeah. I got one of those robots in a bulk lot. He's awful. Did he come in silver or copper? Uh, I think he's actually like beige. <laughs> beige motherfucker. Wrong answer. <laughs> uh, Sonic Phantom. 
Which you, they not, should have uh, spelled phantom with like F A N because it's amazing. Not only did it include <laughs> one of these big awful pieces, it included four of them. <laughs> uh, gate assault, man. I, what the? Fuck? I'd hate to have to get through that gate. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad the gate doesn't have a fence around it. Too bad I can't just walk it around like, it. It looks like the gate is made by like uh, those are brick separators, I think, right? Can I get some <laughs> clutch to keep pockets of the stickers that are on the door? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the X Men symbol. Uh, this is clearly oh, just the uh, the Chima Eagle tank, and the lion the, tank, the lion tank. Yeah, that's the ice mech there. I was just gonna say that Spiros is uh, ice mech. That he's <laughs> so this is the mobile defense tank. Um, this one is actually really large. It doesn't really oh. show the scale very well, but this is pretty it's the big. It's it's the water striking strider. venom. That's the water strider. There. Yeah. Water strider makes it the uh, This one's oh, named man. Uplink. These do suck. You right? You're right. I remember. Okay. Like, this okay. Whole, the last whole... one. The Sorry, last one was kind of cool. Yeah, it looks like the scuttler. This and, is cool. It uses, makes great use of um, puzzles. Okay. The, yeah, that, that, that. scoops. Um, they also scoops. had these little discs they shot. So there's this tube here with a little flick thing at the bottom, and you fill it full of either yeah, yeah, yeah. the lime and yellow or red and yellow discs, and these are like. Uh, one, one and a half studs in diameter. They're not useful at all. At all, <laughs> they're one and a half studs in diameter, and they have a bar hole in the middle. But they're, you know, otherwise unconnectable. And uh, it was gravity fed, so you'd flick the thing at the bottom, and it'd shoot one out like a pizza launcher, and then they'd all. They fall were the stealing chamber. nerf technology of the nineties. Yes. <laughs> um, Sentai Fortress one's... is this is one of the Sentai. ones if you remember the. Um, the hentai for brick set. <laughs> <laughs> not, not hentai if you remember the um, brick set, sixty years of the brick competition they had, where you build a mini version of something. Oh, one of the yeah. winners, oh, one yeah. of the winners was this set, made made small. Really? Can you um, uh, zoom in a little bit? Maybe. No. Uh, ah. Yeah, it's funny when we started this. Uh, uh, this we get the ace soundboards. Uh, at least this at least this gate has some walls around it. Uh, I can see through the gate. <laughs> That's fine. I kind of like it's kind of like a portcullis. But um I kind of like the spidery thing. That thing yes. kind of looks cool. That's uh, available Cartoon as a legs. minifigure too. That's Bomar Monk. You can buy it as a minifigure, so why don't you get oh, on that, Matt? And there's one of the classic uh poly bags there with a minifigure with big bricks on his feet. <laughs> as a, as a the robot. black mech suit has got this, this huge hole in the middle. What the hell? That's a, that's a spoiler. It's to let discs. Oh, it's a spoiler. <laughs> it's to know. let discs go this, through. This blue one isn't that bad. No, it's pretty good. See, like th this whole line came out during my dark ages, oh, and I found out about it, and I was like, oh, back I, I kind of want to go look. I want to look back at some of these. Maybe I'll find something to pick up. This. I, for I'm going to show you the two I that I need to pick any up. <laughs> uh, Sentry. Amazing. There's your there's your guy, your beige motherfucker. I gotta I gotta troop yeah, build that. Copper. He's copper. I gotta troop build that. That'd be 100. very, very cheap, man. That'd be incredibly <laughs> cheap to do. Uh Supernova. Okay. That guy just has like twenty robots. It's uh, Ronald McDonald. The Joker. Uh, Bridgewater versus White Lightning. <laughs> I'm confused by the one on the left. Yeah, I don't know what's happening. I think he's got chicken legs, and they have an extension that goes back behind him, but it's kind of angled weird. Um, he's got an alien. Queen. They also they absolutely love the three long pin with the bush at the end, just a million, million times over his guns. They like put it on everything. Hands, <laughs> no thank you, Gatling guns. I was thinking about giving this guy a gun. Does it gattle? <laughs> Well, uh, Cassie now. Walker one poly bag. Look at him. Look at him, Look at him swinging his arm like he's running. No, this is the. Uh, okay. he, it's the Star Wars Range Trooper from Solo. With those, with those so, War, do you think they were leaning into the anime fad? <laughs> Maybe. No, <laughs> all no, the all the boxes no. came with like no. comics and all that. This is it the, came the like, <laughs> worst one ever. <laughs> they had big I got a Walker poly bag. Dude, I kind of want like, these because they're so bad. These Mega these do Man. look like bootlegs, man. It's these like Mega I know, Man. Paul. I'm, 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 I'm in the same boat. I'm like, Four, five, I'm six, terrible. I want them. Yeah. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 pieces. 20 pieces, and this can be yours. 
Look at this. It's just standing on bricks that are <laughs> attached to these. He's holding jet engines. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a hard suit. This is the this is the this Carter is, Industries uh, Walker probably. And his, just, his, <laughs> his name was Hayato, and the other guy's name was Takashi. Yeah, and then there's um. And they fought robots. <laughs> yeah, uh, Hikaru Little Flyer oh, Polybag. Hikaru. Dude, these these sets are awful. You are right. <laughs> I just I just love how the the picture of each pilot shows them with normal normal like, features. Hair. Yeah, yeah. Normal normal hair. Hair. Every like, minifigure has like extreme Super Saiyan hair. <laughs> They're all Goku. They also had dual printed faces. One was screaming, and the one the other one was more screaming. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds about right. Harder. Uh, oh Ryo my gosh! Polygon. Look at that. Instead of instead of holding those rocket boosters, he's just holding the wings. He's holding wings. <laughs> Take dust. Uh, here's the one. Here's that's one of the bad. two I like. Yeah, that's not bad. Golden Guardian Limited Gold Edition. So oh, great. Like they have all these gold plated yeah. pieces in here, but um, he's about forty fifty bucks. Yeah. Now uh, uh, but it it doesn't look bad. Like the legs look very well done. You know, up until the knee. Uh. And the weapons are cool. I think this one isn't bad. This was this is very good raw material for making a good robot. Raw. <laughs> so do these have knees then? Like I I don't know how stable yeah. they are. And like yeah, yeah. So results. it has this joint. It rotates and it uh clicks outwards, and it's it's the same joint in every mm -hmm. got it. everything. So it, it'll rotate and it will pivot. It looks like he's got a pencil in the, for that that cannon on his right arm. <laughs> looks like a pencil. So th this is yeah, it does. Um, this is actually the um the two by two by like eleven solid column that you'd see like in front of the town hall or something. It's usually in black or white. Interesting. It's the the two by two square at the bottom with the the two by two round. Are those like is that a sticker top. set that looks like it's got like that I that grape that there? The, I think it's a sticker here, yeah. Oh. But that's that that's that column in gold, which is pretty interesting. interesting. Yeah. Okay. Uh combat crawler X two. <laughs> like the water strider, this this has no articulation in the legs. <laughs> it looks like it's just solid. Not at all. <laughs> uh Cyclone Defender. Look at that. Oh, it's, it's uh now. it's Cosmos. I, I also like this um, super cool uh, glow in the dark cord Uzi he's got here. <laughs> I thought it was like a like a power drill or something like that. That's his um, mining him. laser he's fighting with. He just he was he's a miner and he got caught like you know up in a war with robots. Uh, claw they're crusher. Not, not fighters claw like crusher. Crusher. This one actually looks more racist than the others. I don't know. Oh, oh, did, I, did, I, did I make an unintentional G1 reference there? Yeah. No, I, I was just making it. You're finishing it. Sure. Yeah. I mean, the Decepticons were built to destroy. <laughs> Exocore. I should say code. Exocode? Exocode. Oh, that's Dude. right. They had that gimmick. Remember when I was talking about the Lego movie sets had that code printed on a tile? Oh yeah, these ones did too. So it, I think the promo images say EXO code, but really it was an actual code that was on a one by two tile right here. <laughs> That's funny. And then just they slowly get more and more of these bionicle feet here. Remember you when you used to buy sodas and you could win prizes instantly from the cap? Under the cap? <laughs> instantly, and, I kind of yeah. remember that. And or you'd collect letters, and now it's like enter a code online, and we'll steal your identity. And it's like a forty-digit code, like it's crazy you now. Yep. Blade Titan. That's not Blade bad. Titan. I don't mind this one either. Hikaru. Sky Guardian. Look at his sword that he's got. <laughs> that's actually a whole. That's a one-piece sword, dual molded. It's pretty cool. It looks like a big number one. <laughs> number one. Super I'm China number one. one. <laughs> um, this one's cool. Shadow Crawler. I think it has three legs, but it has a dead guy in this. This. Uh, oh yeah. Is that, is that what's powering it up? Is it, he's powered by dead. I yeah, I remember this. Driving. I was I was working as a uh, planogram team lead at Target when this stuff was coming out. Uh, so, dude, it was it was probably one of my favorite jobs, honestly. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's more soul crushing now, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't work I remember, there anymore. 
I remember when the uh, the Lego aisle would reset and we'd get the display boxes, and I'd just be like, "What the fuck is this? Like, it's got a corpse in it." <laughs> Can you zoom in on that corpse? I'm I'm in, I'm intrigued by the dead. Are you trying to figure out if it's uh, Hayato or not? You can get <laughs> this for like ten bucks. What if he still had the hair? <laughs> Dude, I kind of want all these figures now. Is the hair? That'd be so dope. See, I'm secretly employed by Bricklink to convince you guys you need to buy all this nonsense. These these feature us so, exposés, what do you want to call them? This, always this end up getting me to spend fit. more money. <laughs> this so wait, are these are topic. these available as sets on Bricklink? Like, because no everything's available as a set on Bricklink. Yeah, 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 ten bucks. This could fit <laughs> into the UFO <laughs> line bucks. for sure. So I, I, just, I love these. The, the I digestion wanna, thing. I want it's not 000. the only time they've done that. In one of the Aquarators two sets, there was was it Aquarators? In one of the one of the underwater sets, there was a dead guy with the helmet of the previous underwater theme inside the giant squid. <laughs> That's so meta. <laughs> so meta. Uh, Iron Condor. I'll get out of here. You're no shadow crawler. You're not even powered by dead. Here's bugs. my other favorite one, the arrow booster. Oh, Dude, look at that. That's wow. like one of, like Dude, a crazy that Gundam. Looks, that looks like a Gundam. This, it looks like. like the Psycho Zaku, yeah. <laughs> I uh I want this one more than I think I want the uh the other one, the gold gold warrior or whatever. This one's look at it. I mean it might it, it oh it does have those big fan pieces. That's what's on the back of these things. But still, it looks like it's pretty cool, but it might just be the angle at which it's at which it's taken. I also don't know that this thing can stand up on its own. There's no way. <laughs> it's so it might have a kickstand underneath the. Uh, you need a thirty-five dollar uh, Aldi bike. I see pictures of it standing. <laughs> I so also like, see pictures with the back on like a cigar box. So this 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 gun, this ray gun right here, is on like a boom arm. It's not connected to the regular arm, although he he might be holding. Like a trigger for it. Oh, you know what? He's holding okay. like hoses that, <laughs> that control on. those guns. It's cool. Yeah. Here, right here, you hold them like a gun. So yeah, you can be fly focusing on you. Oh, yeah. interesting. There you go. <laughs> oh, damn. It's huge. It's enormous. So you would pilot him via the handle at the back, and you could launch his ammunition from a convenient trigger. Do I need this more or less now? What was that TV show that that cartoon they had in like I think it was the late eighties where Me good or man, <laughs> me you, could, good or man. you could interact with the cartoon by like shooting like the ship like in, into oh, it and um Captain something Captain I think. Power? Yes, I think it I think it is Captain yeah, Power. It I reminds me of that. Like those ships they had that the ship with the trigger. Arm. That's <laughs> a weird arm. Long and I'm not yeah. Look at that throne you're sitting on too. So, could you take the arrow booster off the blue robot and like interact with Damn. other max? Oh, or? look, it's got marbled. Yeah, it's marbled blue and uh, pearl like gray. Silver, yeah. I imagine, Spirit said that. I imagine you can you can just attach it to something else. Yeah, I'm like, I'm going through the Google image search and I'm Exo trying to friend. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Olivia, uh, the Olivia destruction mech. You, you so leave Matt cool. alone, he's gonna find friends. Zobo gone rogue. <laughs> Zobo. Zobo. Zobo, Zobo is that you? From his Exo neighbor. friend. <laughs> Someone. Has oh, okay, there's that handle. Yeah, that's cool. Well, I know with Nexo Knights, they did a great job of. Uh, allowing you to to take pieces off of the one robot and put it on the other robot. I'm not sure if they had that in mind back then, but I'm almost done here. Fight for the golden tower. I would never fight for such a shitty tower. <laughs> the, the temple of Irjitsu. The mobile <laughs> devastator. Dang, that's a wow. huge set. <laughs> it, look, it comes with at least six of your little dudes and two skeletons. <laughs> it should come with six <laughs> shadow crawlers. <laughs> River Dragon. Ah, more That's fans. Not a Battle Arachnoid. Eh, oh, there's a skull in that. Uh, I know they're making nefarious things out of the dead. Yeah. <laughs> now, is it powered by like methane? Do you think? Or I don't know, but there is a hidden chainsaw here underneath the flap. There's a couple secret chainsaws. 
Assault Wait, go, go Tiger. Back, go back, go back. What does it say on his windscreen? Just Exo Exo code. Exo four two seven four seven two one nine. TK421? Lots, Lots of printed pieces, though. Are those stickers or prints? Uh, prints on those. Stickers on everything else. Yeah. This is the... Uh, Assault this is like Tiger. The, 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 the G2. G2. It's like Leonardo DiCaprio meme where he's like walking all like confidently. So keep, in mind, <laughs> keep in mind, this is the last wave of this theme. This is like the fuck it. We don't care. This is the extreme nineties. Chameleon Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> He's got rockets for legs. It looks like. Uh, if you go to me for a quick comparison of the last one. <laughs> <That's hilarious>. <laughs> <laughs> there's so many. <laughs> there's so many images of him strutting. <laughs> go ahead, flip back to uh, the, the robot. Oh no! Okay. I don't have the robot. You have the robot. Oh, I had the robot. It's over. Uh, Chameleon Hunter, Dark Panther. That's a Lego Friends one right there. <laughs> Looks like yeah. These these this last wave is all like animals, right? We got the dragon, the arachnoid, the tiger, it's the hunter, tiger. the chameleon, the panther, so storm like lasher. Oh, Look at that. Storm lasher has a cool fly on the back, which I'm totally for. That is pretty um, cool. We actually have a storm lasher at the store right now. You know, that's that. And there's the last one, the hybrid rescue tank, which is Is it like very much galaxy squad. off the top? Is that what that is? Who's I hope so. Is there a bug Look at that? that big ass wheel in the back. I have two of those big ass wheels. Uh, <laughs> I got from the bulk lot. Not from the quick mech, you don't know, you only got one. HPWs and No no, I'm saying I got those from the bulk lot. <laughs> Matt, what are you talking about? Hard plastic wheels. Well then now they've been traded out for BA. <laughs> Big ass wheels. <laughs> Big ass wheels. Patent pending. Patent pending. All right. Boss. That is uh that's Exo Force, Paul. So you know you wanted to buy it and now you don't. Yep, I I, I, I still may get some of those minifigures just because they're so awful, they're awesome. So I'll tell you the ones with the green hair are gonna be a couple bucks more because that green hair sells for good money. Because it's, it's lettuce. Lettuce, <laughs> lettuce does not <laughs> fucking look like that. <laughs> it does yeah. if you turn it backwards. Oh man, <laughs> it's it's more cabbage than lettuce. Let's be honest here. Um, but yeah, so there are. I'm I'm glad we we had this feature because now I know to not. I don't need to spend a lot of money on these anymore. Or uh, any. Yeah. If but you get arrow booster, though, I want to swoosh it. Indeed, I, th I think <laughs> that's what we should we should all have that set in our collection so we can all simultaneously swoosh. Swoosh. <laughs> All right, anybody have any final thoughts? Lego. Support Lego, the Lego Dark Knight Rises. Support Lego, the Lego <laughs> Dark Knight. <laughs> Support Westminster Brick Shop. No one where, cared who that I is. was until I built the robot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but in the Bane voice. Okay. But in the Bane, but in the Bane voice. On the burn, on the burn voice. <laughs> oh, burn voice. Should we wrap up? Spiros. Was a man. <laughs> I think uh, Tom already found a terrible new voice for Venom. Or his, his Venom voice is real weird. Oh, for, dude, he sounds he sounds like Vinny Barbarino. He's like, hey, I'm very sorry, Mrs. Oh, Chan. No, Venom, don't <laughs> do I got a virus. Yeah. <laughs> and then and the only prescription is more Spider-Man. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. He's not in this movie. What? That's right. <laughs> Who? <laughs> That's like making a standalone Joker movie. <laughs> Dude, that that Joaquin Phoenix looks pretty good. Is like what? If, what if Joker. that is just like um? No, maybe that's the joke. What if no? What if that's just like this uh this fake weapon box where it's like they're not actually doing that? They're not actually making. Either that's just of those regular movies. Joaquin Phoenix. Yeah, he's just. <laughs> he's, they call him on a good day where he's like happy go lucky, walking around poking clowns. He's he's walking like Leo DiCaprio. You're a funny uh, clown. <laughs> Alrighty, Spiros, where can our viewers and listeners find you? 
Uh, you can find me on the Facebooks and the Twitters. Uh, I also am part of a podcast that, uh, despite what everybody thinks, we are still active. Uh, <laughs> Toy Detox. <laughs> um, <laughs> It's funny. I was listening. Um, I was listening to Totally Knocked Off, uh, the latest episode, um, and uh, internet personality Justin uh, L was like, "They're still around whenever they make a show." <laughs> like, <laughs> I was like, "Oh man, even 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 the low class podcasts are uh, digs at us." <laughs> <laughs> Glad you said it. <laughs> uh, they'll be the first to admit it. They're, that, that they're they're that denominator. Nah, I, <laughs> I, I I love all those guys. Like I mean, they're I'm good friends with all of them. I, I always give them shit, but uh, I'm sorry. Um, but uh, anyways, yeah, Toy Detox uh, and on the Facebooks and uh, if you are ever in Tampa, I may give you a ride. That's right. <laughs> call in, call Spears for your Uber. Oh, that's right. I was like, where to? <laughs> where are we going? Where are we going, Spiros? <laughs> Awesome. So if you are in Florida, you can visit lots of people who apparently uh, are in the realm that live in Florida as well and have Spiros bring you around. That'll Grammar, and Jisk. And, uh, uh, I think isn't Oscar Fong. out there somewhere too? Fong's out there. Yeah, lots of people in the realm. Um, and uh, if you do want to check out that, that famous Toy Detox show that Spiros has just mentioned, you can check out all the other shows as well that are in the Cool Table Network. Shows like Enter the Realm. Brick in the Mold, Figure Banging, Stasis Lock, Nerd Rage Radio, Shattered Cast Uncut, Plastic Fanatics, Beer and Bolters 40K, Eight Weeks, and Fresh Communications. These shows are all very family friendly, but they might not be. Wait, did I do that wrong? The, the episodes might not be family friendly, but they're Get all part over, of man. a friendly family. <laughs> Episode 47, man. That was the London <laughs> knockoff of Balchu uh, <laughs> giving you the outro. 